many of us have gotten used to using third-party externals. It was, it's a handy way to extend the features that are included in Max by default, and things have changed a little bit as far as how to add these uh, packages to your install. So if you're used, like me, you're used to using the older uh, versions of Max with the Cycling74 folder, uh, you know that this is where externals typically live. So there's the Max for Live externals, and I can look at the Jitter externals up here. Uh, you see these .mxo files on the Macintosh. You got used to this. Uh, if you're like me, you got used to also uh, adding a third-party folder where you threw all your uh, third-party stuff that was from other developers besides Psychon74 into a folder to kind of keep track of them. Um, things changed a little bit when uh, Max 6.1 came out. Uh, the Cycling 74 folder was still here, but in addition there was this packages folder, uh, and this was supposed to be the new way of including uh, collections of externals and, and patches that were from third parties uh, in your Max install. Uh, and there was a way to install and, and organize these folders that uh, you were supposed to abide by if you were throwing stuff in the packages folder. Uh, if you downloaded Max 7 though, you may have noticed that there is no folder for the application anymore. It's just this dot app file and so you may have been at a loss as far as how to add third-party content to your Max install. Um, it's not gone, it's just that it's in a different place. So you go to your user folder and you look in the documents subfolder. Uh, there you're going to find the Max 7 folder and uh, by default there's a couple of subfolders that have been created for you, one of which is this packages folder. So this is the new place that it looks uh, for packages in Max 7 and it's all part of getting out of the application folder. Uh, a number of third-party developers like uh, Jamoma, if you download the latest alpha version, you, uh, it's already organized as a package for you to be able to install in this folder, uh, as well as the Synmat externals are already organized in this format. So uh, once you do it down download those, uh, you'll get a folder that you can easily just drag and drop over to your packages folder, uh, and it should uh, keep things organized once you do that, and uh, you'll see it's, uh, the content in here is organized uh, in accordance with that text file that used to come with 6.1. Uh, the main folders that you're, you'll find are the externals folder and the help folder. Those are the ones that you find on uh, even very basic collections, basically, and that's where uh, the primary piece of content is. Uh, but even older collections, like the L object, which is a very popular collection. Um, it's not yet uh, organized in the way that's uh, ready for this packages folder, but uh, with a little bit of extra legwork, you can get it ready. So um, by default, when you download it, you'll see these two help these two uh, folders here: one for uh, help files, one for external files. Uh, if you just go to your packages and create a folder for the name of the, uh, of the collection, uh, in this case, L objects. Uh, and uh, Peter LC has already got them organized in help and external folder. So I'm just going to drag those over, uh, rename one help, and rename the other one externals. Uh, and then I should be ready to actually start using these third-party externals in my Mac 7 installation. So there's L round, uh, and I can pull up one of the Jamoma externals as well. Uh, and those are actually loaded in the uh, autocomplete there. You can see different options for those. So that's the way to get third-party content into your Mac 7 install using the packages folder.